Allegro Timing Environment is a suite of tools that provide automation and enhanced graphics to help accelerate the tuning of high-speed interfaces. They are located in the route menu and require the high-speed product option to be enabled. Time and Vision provides special color-coded graphics that let you see real-time delay and phase information directly on the routing canvas. You have two primary modes, DRC and phase, as well as the options to run these modes in what we call smart mode that I'll talk about a little later. Once your parameters are set, simply create a timing group by windowing, windowing around the set of signals you wish to focus on. With the mode set to smart phase, it is clear which members of the diff pair are longer or shorter based on the color mapping. The added benefit of using smart phase for diff pairs is the compute engine analyzes phase across each pin pair. You can continue to use interactive delay tuning techniques that you are accustomed to today, such as delay tune or phase tune, while in timing vision mode. First, delay tune is used in single trace mode to add sawtooth style bumps. When the routes turn green, you have met the phase requirements. Next, I use the phase tune command that adds parameterized bumps to the member that I select. Once again, when the routes turn green, you have met phase requirements. Now I'd like to introduce the new Auto Interactive Phase Tune command. First select the area where I want the phase bumps to be added, followed by the enablement of uncoupled bumps. In this example, I use the sawtooth style. I'll undo this step, go back into the parameter form, and change the style from sawtooth over to accordion. Click OK, reselect the two signals, and now we've, we've added in a style that you're accustomed to with the delay tune command. In the next example, I'd like to focus on improving the gathering etch to ensure members are in phase at the gathering point. This may be the approach you wish to consider if you're looking to minimize the num number of bumps across the pair. I will recommend that you run this process in two steps. First, enable the parameters in the upper section of the form that offset the etch to meet phase at the gathering point. Next, enable the uncoupled bump option, whether it be sawtooth or accordion. Note the results compared to the first step yield less bumps as a result of this improved gathering. I'll re-invoke timing vision and set the mode to analyze the timing state of the diff pairs since they are part of a match group. The red color indicates that six of the members require added length. Auto interactive delay tune is now run across the four diff pairs. Auto interactive delay tune takes about one minute in, in this example. While this command is running, please note I have not relied on constraint manager, heads up display, or show element to bring the signals within spec. There was one signal in purple that was corrected by the uh, update goals command. Now I'll move over to the right side of the canvas where we have one of the byte lanes comprised of two strobe signals and eight data signals. Timing vision is set to analyze the two diff pairs. You can clearly see that each member is in a color red or yellow indicating they are not matched. I'll now go to Auto Interactive Phase Tune, enable uncouple bumps, and quickly bring these two signals within phase. This is real time. To evaluate the match group condition, switch timing vision over to a timing mode and note the red colored signals. Use the Smart option when you have nested match groups. The Smart algorithm takes into account the routed signals against all the rules and computes length goals for each member. Note the fourth signal up is striped. This is the critical signal of the group. I run AIDT in two steps to avoid adding length to that critical signal. Alternatively, you could fix that signal and run AIDT in one step. I'll end this demo by reverting the timing vision colors back to the normal layer base colors. I do this by going into the right mouse button and simply pick the disband command. This concludes the demo on the Allegro timing environment. For more information, please contact your local sales team or your channel partner. Or you can go to the Cadence website 
and look for information on the Timing Environment blogs or customer success stories.